Welcome to Professional Certifications Channel. In this video, we're diving into Chapter 11 of ICD 10 CM, which covers diseases of the digestive system, with code ranges from K00 to K95. Whether you're coding for gastroenterology, emergency care, or inpatient services, this chapter is packed with frequently used conditions like gastritis, ulcers, hepatitis, and appendicitis. Let's break it all down. Section 1, Chapter Overview This chapter covers the entire gastrointestinal, GI tract, from the mouth to the anus, including accessory organs like the liver, gallbladder, and pancreas. It also includes post-procedural complications related to GI surgeries. Common areas you'll be coding from include Oral disorders Gastric and intestinal diseases Liver and pancreatic disorders Hernias GI infections and complications Section 2, Key Code Categories Let's look at the major blocks of codes within Chapter 11. K00 to K14, Diseases of Oral Cavity, Salivary Glands, and Jaws Includes Tooth Decay, K02, Gingivitis, K05, Jaw Cysts, K09 K20 to K31, Diseases of Esophagus, Stomach, and Duodenum GERD, K21.9, Gastritis, K29.7, Ulcers, and Hiatal Hernia, K44.9 Example, K21.0, GERD with esophagitis. K35 to K38, diseases of the appendix. Includes appendicitis, with or without rupture. Example, K35.80, acute appendicitis without perforation or abscess. K40 to K46, hernias. Inguinal, femoral, umbilical, and diaphragmatic. Example. K40.20, bilateral inguinal hernia, without obstruction or gangrene. K50 to K52, non-infective enteritis and colitis. Includes Crohn's disease, K50.x, and ulcerative colitis, K51.x. K55 to K64, other intestinal diseases. Includes diverticulosis, K57, hemorrhoids, K64. Example, K57.30, diverticulosis of large intestine without perforation or abscess. K65 to K68, peritoneal and retroperitoneal conditions. Includes peritonitis, ascites, K66.1. K70 to K77, diseases of liver. Fatty liver, K76.0, alcoholic hepatitis, K70.1, cirrhosis. K74.60 K80 to K87 Disorders of gallbladder, biliary tract, and pancreas Gallstones, K80.2x, cholecystitis, pancreatitis, K85.x K90 to K95, other diseases and post-procedural complications Malabsorption, K90.0, short bowel syndrome, surgical complications K91.x Section 3, Coding Tips and Guidelines Here are important coding tips for this chapter. 1. Be specific. Most digestive codes require specificity on location, cause, and severity, e.g., acute versus chronic, with slash without obstruction or perforation. 2. Combination codes. Many GI conditions like diverticulitis with perforation have combination codes make sure to check all details in the provider's notes. 3. Post-procedural complications Use K91.x codes when there are conditions directly related to surgery, such as a leak or hemorrhage after GI surgery. 4. Alcohol-related liver disease Always link liver disease to alcohol, e.g., K70.30 and consider adding F10.9x for alcohol use. 5. Use symptom codes only when no definitive diagnosis has been made, like K59.1, functional diarrhea. Section 4, Real-Life Coding Examples Here are some case-based coding examples. Example 1. 
patient with GERD and documented esophagitis. Code, K21.0. Example 2. Confirmed acute appendicitis without rupture. Code, K35.80. Example 3. Elderly patient with diverticulitis of colon with abscess. Code, K57.20. Example 4. Type 2 diabetic with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Codes, E11.9, K76.0. Example 5. Post-op bleeding following cholecystectomy. Code, K91.840. Section 5. Common Diagnoses to Know. Here are some high-yield, frequently used codes from Chapter 11. K21.9, GERD without esophagitis. K35.80, Acute Appendicitis, without perforation. K57.30, Diverticulosis of Large Intestine. K64.8, Hemorrhoids, Unspecified. K74.60, Cirrhosis of Liver, Unspecified. K85.9, Acute Pancreatitis, Unspecified. K91.840, Post-Procedural Hemorrhage of Digestive System. And that wraps up our tutorial on Chapter 11, Diseases of the Digestive System and ICD-10-CM. This chapter is full of complex and common conditions, so always be sure to check for location, severity, complications, and post-procedural status. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up, drop a comment with your feedback, and subscribe for the next lesson Chapter 12, Diseases of the Skin and Subcutaneous Tissue, L00 to L99. See you there.